What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. This video is probably going to be a Saturday video because it's not going to be a review or anything. It's going to be a little testing video. Uh, basically what I have done, if you see the, the big Canon camera here, well, I picked up a 75 to 300 millimeter zoom lens for it. So this is about, it's about 4 or 15 or so in the afternoon on Saturday. I'm going to take the camera, we're going to go towards the lake, um, go to my special spot I like to go to at the lake, just down the road from the house, see what we can find, snap a few shots and work on a little bit of photography things with that camera. Um, I'm going to devote it now strictly to taking pictures. I'm not going to do any video anymore with it. I'll probably always be using the SX 730 Canon or my GoPro, one of the two. Um, or and I've got my big camera I use in the garage most of the time. But for now, well, from here on out, I'm just going to make that you know take it out, shoot some pictures and that kind of thing. I'm not going to use it for video anymore. Just it's too big and bulky. I'd rather have this. I did just get a uh, Joby 3K tripod for this camera and I'm liking it so far. I know they get all out of whack and everything, but the other one I had, the ball head on it just wasn't as good as what these Jobies are. Um, and the stiffness of this thing is just unbelievable. I mean, you can really get in some different ways. Um, of course, you can wrap it around and stuff all that. but. It's a pretty cool tripod. It, you can tell it's sturdy. It's it's going to be, you know, what what the doctor ordered as far as a good tripod for a camera. Guys, I am slowly but surely getting back to getting outdoors and getting my rhythm back. Um, like I said, that's another video I want to shoot at some point. But right now, let's get the lake while we're getting into the golden hour of photography. And may go a couple of places up in the city a little bit, up in the, um, our little town, Mount Juliet. A couple of places there, I might stop and shoot a couple of pictures and see how they come out. So stay tuned. There's not going to be a whole lot of talking on this, but intermittent maybe, and that's about it. All right, guys, hang in there. All right, brought you back. Um, going down this road to the lake, usually there's deer on it somewhere. So we're going to keep an eye out for deer. <laughs> um, run across some we can video them hanging out but um the reason why i pulled the trigger on this this particular lens is the other night we were uh the big full moon hit and everything and chloe wanted to uh, although that was deer already but it's actually horses grazing in the pasture anyway chloe uh wanted to go out and take pictures of the, of the moon so I took the camera out, took the big camera out, and snatched a few shots. I'm like, man, it just, that's, oh, 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 look here. Look here. There's two of them. Huh? I told you. <laughs> I told you, gotta be careful on this road. Um, but anyway, I just wasn't happy with the way they came out. But I took some pictures with this camera because it has a digital zoom lens. And we got some good shots, and I'll put those in now of that, so you can see those. Okay, I got another car driving slow, and I know why. Right there. Look at there. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I think. There may be a couple more back off in the woods. I didn't even look on my side of the truck. There's a lot of woods between my house and here, in which I'm just really and truly, I'm only one street over from where I live. This goes right down to the lake. But, and well, and you know, I've had a few things on my channel before. We've had a couple of deer in our backyard. Um, have one have her baby in our backyard. And then we got the big groundhog. <laughs> he's, he's getting pretty big too. Last time I saw him, he's, he's pretty chunky. He's getting ready for winter. Um, and man, it's funny to see him when he comes out in the, in the spring. It, it's like 
is that even the same groundhog? But yeah, it is. It just lost all of his weight over the winter. <laughs> so, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, just come on across. Are you coming? I'm, I'm giving you the right of way. I don't want a hood ornament on my truck. So, that, that's what this road's like. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> that's what this road's like. Uh, it just, like I said, with all the woods and everything, I can understand it. And uh, anybody that lives back here and comes back here very much, they know. You don't come flying down this road because there's a lot to be a deer standing in the middle of it or crossing it or fixing to cross it. And, you know, of course, my wife going down, going out the main road from our house is where she totaled out her last Honda Odyssey because of a deer. So, it is what it is. So anyway, this is a, um, this particular campground is one of the uh, last, uh, what I would call U.S. Army Corps of Engineers camping campgrounds uh, around me that's still open. Um, there's also a boat launch down here and there's uh, all kinds of fun other things over here. But our thing is going to be, oh, a uh, speed bump. I missed that speed bump. I forgot about that speed bump. Yeah, I've shot a couple of videos up here too before um, in the winter time. See, like right now, it's day use facility and they're not charging for anybody to come in. And they have it all summer because for the most part it's been shut down. But as you can see, the campground's been pretty busy. It's always busy. It's always busy here at this campground. Um, but it, it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty lake. Like I said, it's four thirty. So it took me a couple minutes to get over here. Uh, shooting the crap. So we're gonna park down here on this end if we can find a spot. Because it looks pretty busy. There's a lot of boats out right now. Main thing is gonna be testing out this zoom lens and see how far out I can reach and what kind of good pictures I can get and hopefully I can get some good pictures and uh, we'll go from there a lot of boats out right now a lot of them I'm going to park up here towards this edge and we'll get out and walk around a little bit alright guys that's it for now I'll be back in a little bit okay I got out and shot some pictures here at the lake uh, this should remind you of where I am I've been here a few times oh time to get bright again there you go um, I'm gonna put the pictures I took that I think turned out to better I didn't say best I said better because I'm just starting to learn this lens um, I'll put those at the end of this video uh, I might go try to find a couple more areas. If I don't, we'll end it here. So, I'm going to end it for right now. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like all my videos. And, um, you know, the picture taking is just something else I've gotten into. That I've, well, I've kind of been into it since I've been doing this. And I like taking the steel photos still. Not just the video, but the still photos of certain things. So anyways, I'll... That's it for now, I guess. Unless you see me come back, and then this will be at the tail end of that. So, be prepared.